Hello Aries, welcome, it's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me at this time. Um, this is your reading for the 20th right through to the 26th of September 2021 um, or thereabouts, it could resonate a little bit beyond that time. Um, I've pre-shuffled your cards Aries to get your energy into the cards. Um, so we'll start off with the Moonology um, Oracle deck. Um, and just, just to say, as always, it is a general reading, so please take what resonates, leave leave the rest behind or, or for somebody else. It may be somebody else's story this time, um, but it could well be your story, Aries. So let's see, let's see where this is going. So we'll just take an overall energy card. And we've got the full moon in Capricorn and this is saying the end of a tough cycle approaches so that's good news that's good news at any time isn't it Aries it's the end of a tough cycle um, on the way brilliant all right so we'll just uh, do a final shuffle of the Anna K tarot and we'll get straight into your reading Aries So we have the heart of your reading, the root of the matter, past influences, what's on your mind at the moment, the future going forward and something else the energies would like to say to you at this time. And at the bottom of the deck we have the Empress, beautiful energy to start off with. This is a very uh, expanding energy, it is a feminine energy but it's not gender specific. Um, it's, this is about fertility. Um, new growth, um, evolution. It's a very um, abundant and optimistic card to have as part of um, um, any reading really but obviously it all depends on the context that the Empress is sitting in. So let's see. So I'll just put that to one side um, and then one more shuffle or a few more shuffles. Just can we have some clarifying cards please for all the cards on the table. Just lay them on top in the same order for a little bit of depth. Okay, so um, at the bottom of the deck this time we have the Magician, who is the Grand Manifester um, in the Fool's Journey in, in Tarot. And the Magician is able to manifest the reality going forward that, that suits him, that he wants. It's, it's, a, um, it's a, an uh, alchemy, it's bringing different factions together to create a whole. Um, that is purposeful and meaningful for him. Um, so this is, for as far as your reading is concerned, we, up to now, we've got two major arcanas, the Empress um, and the Magician. So, um, quite a significant reading, I feel, for some of There's some form of manifestation happening, whether it's by yourself or around you, um, or a universal manifestation for you, um, Aries. Uh, but it's something that's promising some, some form of a new beginning or an expansion um, opportunity. So let's see, I'll just put those to one side. Because of course, we've already had the, the, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Um, and it, with the Magician and the Empress already in your reading, it's a very good omen for what comes next. So let's see. Let's see who this is for. Okay. Well, right at the heart of your reading, Aries, we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Seven of Cups. So this is clarifying a, a current situation for you. The Eight of Swords is when you're feeling bound up, stuck, trapped, um, but it's, it's what's happening in your mind. There's a situation where you feel you can't see a way out of it, but it's all happening in your mind. So it's your, your mind holding you back from being able to go forward for whatever reason. Um, well, the clarifier is a Seven of Cups. Um, 
And it's an interesting one, this is. In, in, in straightforward, ordinary tarot, the Rider Waite tarot, the meaning of the Seven of Cups is very, you've got lots of choices, lots of options. And that could be the case here, and that's what's keeping you stuck, because there's too many options, and you're just not sure what to choose going forward. But for me, in this particular deck, there's another layer of the meaning of the Seven of Cups, um, and that is about fantasy, um, an ideal, um, imaginings, wishful thinking, if you like, um, like a mirage. It's like all oh, the cups are not really there, but this young man believes they are there. So it's that sort of um, fantasy imaginings of options um, and choices. So take it out, resonates with you, um, Aries. So it could be there is a simply that there is so much choice and options at the moment, you, it, it's, it's keeping you bound up in your mind, you just don't know which way to go. Um, and that could then, flipping back to the Seven of Cups, be creating this um, ideological situation where you are um, fantasising perhaps about um, an option, a, a particular option, or having many choices. But let's see. Let's see where this is going. At the root of this situation for you, Aries, we've got the Page of Rods and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, the Page of Rods, this is, you know, seeing something or being or becoming aware of something um, that sparked your um, imagination, that started you thinking about a possibility of something new, something different something creative because this is already in place because it's at the root of this situation so something has sparked your creative imagination um now the clarifier is the knight of pentacles and this is a very slow energy so whatever it is that um has sparked your imagination that got you thinking and uh, of a possibility um it's something that's very slow it's it's a very slow energy the knight of pentacles um it's something that you can see but it's almost like it's a long way away yet um it's possibly attainable but it's a long way away yet and it's it, it would be coming in very slowly so that's that can create its dif own difficulties can't it when there's something that you can see that's that sparks your imagination, that's a possibility, but you know that it would be a little bit of a long way off um, being able to achieve it. All right, so that's at the root of this. And so go some way to explain why you're feeling trapped and stuck in your mind about an option of, of options, possible um, choices here. So the past influences... We have the Tower and the Ace of Swords. So what's happened um, in perhaps the recent to uh, medium term um, past is there was a, a Tower moment. For whoever this is for, there was a Tower moment. There was a form of, a, some significant revelation, something that stopped you in your tracks, that changed everything. All right, It came out of the blue and uh, the Tower crumbled. Something crumbled, um, but it's perhaps something that needed to. At the time, it doesn't feel like that, but looking back, you, you'll be able to see why something happened the way it did to change the course of, of a situation. The clarify, yes, is the Ace of Swords, and this is saying no more, you know, grasping the nettle, grasping the sword, cutting away that which... Um, has no longer been serving you but being able to then direct your energies and direct the order of things um, take take action all right so so these are past energies so we can see why now lead, this has led up to feeling stuck now because of choices or possible options here um, that you're perhaps wishing and dreaming of okay 
What's on your mind at the moment, Aries? Well, we have the Seven of Rods and we have the Temperance energy. The Seven of Rods is when you're having to defend yourself, stand up for what you believe in, you know, protect what you have from those that want their opinions to be heard and that would, if they had their way, ride roughshod over you. You know, because there's been a bit a gap, a bit of an opening to, to allow somebody through and you've got to have to stand your ground. And this is what you're thinking about. But the clarifier is temperance and temperance is about having patience, um, allowing um, time, healing time, he allowing healing to come through, um, allowing balance to come back into a situation that has been quite fraught. All right, and this is what you're thinking about, Aries. So, going forward, we have the King of Pentacles and the High Priest, which is the Hierophant in Ordinary Tarot. The King of Pentacles, um, this is very much a very earth-based, grounded energy. Um, this can represent an employer, somebody who handles and manages money, very well somebody perhaps who's in control of money now this is representing either an aspect of yourself Aries going forward um, or this is somebody connected to you somebody bringing in some form of balance um, the King of Pentacles is a very trusted energy uh, in in the majority of cases now so it's something to do with money or career opportunity or work opportunity here being presented. Um, and the High Priest, the Hierophant, this is universal blessings. This is, you know, having the rubber stamp put on a situation from, from the universal energies and for your highest good. Um, or, or for the highest good of somebody connected to you. But it's certainly a very good omen um, and it's bringing in blessings. So it looks like things are starting to change now. That there's something had to, something in the past happened that changed, probably changed everything. But it allowed you to, to grasp the nettle, if you like, and make a decision about which way you were going forward. Um, but it but it led on to yes, and then there was something that sparked your imagination, but it just feels a long felt long long way away. So these all these energies led to you feeling quite stuck in your mind um, about some form of um, a wish or um, an option that that was around, but it left you feeling stuck and you're thinking about um, somebody was perhaps allowed in but you then had to defend yourself um, stand your ground um, but then have patience at the same time and allow time for healing because we've already also had the, the Empress and the Magician haven't we so there's some form of growth here some form of an opportunity for growth um, an expansion in a very positive way um, and the and the opportunity to manifest within that manifest the way you want to go your reality going forward because going forward yes there's there's something to do with money uh, an opportunity of, of might be a job offer or a gift or an inheritance um but it's the it's being given its approval and from the universe and that you were saying have faith have faith and belief in this situation and the end the end of the previous tough cycle it and um, is is on the way so it does look like aries for whoever this is for after a period of quite you know a difficult situation and a, a need to allow time for healing um, there is some form of growth growth opportunity now for going forward now what the universe and the earth energies also want to say is we've got the two of swords and the nine of pentacles 
The Two of Swords is very much about some form of um, a very difficult situation, de very difficult decision to be made. Um, and it could be a choice from two options. And that's why we may have then the Eight of Swords at the heart of your reading. Because this is a difficult decision to be made. And you can see this, the man is turned away from the sword. He, he's not choosing either sword, even though he needs to pick up one of the swords because of the rough seas in the background. Um, but it is it's turned away because it's too difficult. Perhaps too personal, too close to his heart, perhaps. Um, because the clarifier is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is so. This difficult decision is something to do with an, a very a person who is very independent. Could be a woman, doesn't have to be, according to your gender. Um, but well, it, may, it doesn't matter. It could be a very close friend. It could be a work colleague. But it could be something to do with an intimate um, relationship. But the Nine of Pentacles is very much the independent person. Um, who is self-sufficient, um, her earns her own money, manages her own money, um, is able to manage her own affairs, and is very comfortable and confident within her own skin. Um, there's difficult, a bit of a difficult decision to be made here for whoever this is for. Difficult to look at this. If this is not somebody around or connected to you, Aries, then this could be an aspect of yourself as the Nine of Pentacles. And as the Nine of Pentacles, there's some form of um, a difficult decision to be made or to be looked at and considered. Okay. But the end of a rough cycle is approaching, so that's, that's really perhaps... Once this decision is made from a number of options, that's going to help to end this tough cycle that is going round and around and around. Okay, I'm just going to get... Could we have two final messages, please, for Aries? 20th to the 26th of September. Two final messages, please, for Aries. So we have wandering path, enjoy the journey, uh, but then we have fogged in, so go slow and take your time. So they uh, seem to contradict each other, don't, don't they? But let's see what comes through for you. So wandering path, so this is almost like the beginning of a new journey for you, Aries. Um, there's the compass, there's the map. There's the, the cross, which is where you are beginning. Um, and it's about deciding which way to go. But you are right on the cusp of a new opportunity, a new beginning, and going in a new direction. But there is very much about, there's a lot of choice in this, in this particular message, in this card here. Which way do you go? Do you go north, south, east or west? But the message behind this is whichever way you go, enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey, Aries. And that's what the universe wants you to do. This is all part of your life journey. So as one cycle is coming to an end, which has been very quite a tough cycle, there's a new one ready to begin here. But... It's, you're fogged in at the moment. You, you, there's something you're not clear about, you're not sure about. So what the universe and the earth energies are saying to you, go slow and take your time. There's no rush. There's no rush. Take your time in making the decision because there's something that's not quite clear at the moment 
wait for a little bit more clarity, a bit more understanding of a situation. Wait for temperance to take its time, you know, for the healing to come in. Uh, have some time out. Um, go slow, take your time, because you are definitely on the cusp of a new adventure here. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for joining me at this time. Good luck going forward, um, and I do hope you can join me again in the future. So bye-bye for now.